Derek uh, found himself comfortable in the kitchen at the beginning of his program, and then, um, of course, as we like to do here, we don't like you to be comfortable. You need to be uncomfortable in your recovery process and uh, be stretched. And um, he found himself in, in a comfortable place, and then he was moved to a place where he could work on himself. And uh, the one thing he didn't do while he was here was complain that he wasn't in the kitchen anymore. And, <laughs> Until he got back in the kitchen. Now he, he's still complaining that he's back in the kitchen. But you know, we're thankful for his gift, for his talent. And um, the only folks who aren't thankful is those of us who are in weight management programs and need to lose weight. He's not helping. But uh, that's all right. Um, it's interesting that uh, what my wife and I have noticed and seven years we've been ARC officers in particular is, is the temptation and, and the attacks on on those who are struggling with recovery if you notice those who are in recovery all are talented <coughs> they all have gifts and it's the evil one's desire to make sure that everything that they have been given by God is torn apart and taken away and today we know that uh, God has reclaimed one for his gifts and talents. And uh, Derek is doing us well, and hopefully he'll stay for a long time in his current position. If he doesn't, that's all right. We'll go find him in a, some five-star restaurant in Atlantic City or something like that. But uh, while he's here, we'll, we'll be thankful for everything that he's doing and, and God's doing with here. So please welcome the newest graduate of the Patterson, New Jersey ARC, Mr. Derek Clayton. Change me from being an 
outgoing and extroverted to being completely opposite of that and shy and introverted, which now I'm kind of starting to tell myself again slowly. Um, my addiction just got worse and worse until it was no longer fun and it just became a job. And it was a chore, a full-time job, in order to get the money and the use and all that stuff. Um, and then I started hurting people. I hurt a lot of people in the course of my addiction. And I want to take this time to apologize to them for everything, because I know what was rough. My mom was actually going to cry now, because then I want to start crying. Um, I, I really want to apologize to everybody for putting me through all this, because I know it's, I know it's the be easy, and now I realize all that. Um, what else? When my addiction beat me down enough, I was tired of living the lifestyle. I decided to come back to the ARC for the second time. I was here once before. I think it was 2009, but I didn't really give it a chance. Um, but this time I came into the program with an open mind and the willingness to change for good, because I, I, I don't want to live a life anymore, I can't. Um, I was still a little skeptical at first, but I think I really started to change when I opened my mind and my heart up to a power greater than myself, which is God. Um, when I was selected to go on the retreat uh, this past fall, I was happy to get a chance to get out of Patterson for a little while. That's what I saw it as, but I had no idea what was in store for me. Um, the retreat really made me open my eyes, and I realized what I was missing from my life, and it was spirituality and relationship with God. Once I understood this, the easier everything got, and I felt better about my future and my recovery. While I was there, I made a commitment to myself and God that I will never break. Upon returning from the retreat, I just felt better in general, and I started praying every night, asking God to remove his desire to use from my mind and restore me to sanity. Slowly, the desire was lifted. I'm not saying I'm cured, but it definitely made things a lot easier. You know, I, I don't care if anybody said I've been brainwashed. If I had, good, because it worked. Um, I, forgot I want to thank Darren Mobley. Where is he? The little man from Yeah. Uh, he came out here too for this. For me, I appreciate it. Uh, he was on the retreat with us too. Uh, you know, we had a little bonding time together. He had me out in the woods. Right? I'm not going out in the woods. Black people don't go out in the woods. I was talking out in the woods and everything. So, uh, thank you, Darren, for coming. Um, um, but yeah, I mean, she really opened me up. You know, I want to thank you guys for uh, giving me the opportunity to go there as well. Um, you know, I've been through a lot in this process. I, I, well, I, I know you guys sound stupid, but I did get locked up for a day. Whatever, I know. Um, but, yeah, yeah, but, you know. Um, some strange things have happened though. They put me in there with a $20,000 full cash bail, and miraculously, 24 hours later, they are one, which, as you guys know, is unheard of. Um, so, however that happens, um, you know, I can only think of one thing, and, because I know God works through people. Um, but yeah, I'm thankful for everything. Um, all you guys, you know, I talk, I'm pretty sure I talked to everybody in here. Grateful. And that's all I got. Thank you. Good job, Dirk.